I came a bit before Dove. Uh, yeah, well, definitely in, did. Into the scene. But when I came, it was actually... I remember I signed up to my first second tournament. Spencer actually was the guy that signed me up. Oh, really? Yeah. Because he used to. Play. I don't know if anyone really knew that. I don't know if anyone knows this, but Spencer used to play Tekken. Yeah, he used to be a Tekken oh. player. I used to go by the I, handle I of Su Kazama. So yeah, because he used to play Asuka Kazama, and that was his handle. That's legit. So he signed me up um, at my first um, Tekken OHN tournament. Yeah, that was at Galaxy World. And I remember back then the two big dogs were Ziggy and Fab, yeah. and that that were like um, you know the two guys running the show. And because Tekken that year was actually not held with all the other games because it was ran on arcade, so it was actually separate. It wasn't at the venue. It was just had all the Tekken dudes go to the arcade, and Spencer was the one in charge. So from the beginning, it was Ziggy, uh, Justin, aka Fab and Spencer and then um, throughout the years um, it was um, Ziggy and Justin and then um, Spencer was like he was more of like the Tekken dude and then he kind of fell out and then they asked some, they needed someone else so I stepped up and then I started running Tekken and so it was like me Ziggy and Justin and whoever else was helping and then um, Justin you know life happened so he kind of fell out and then there was that year where Ziggy retired and then uh, after OHN A and then uh, Eric aka DK wanted to take the mantle so I helped him run that year uh, run OHN that year and you know that was the darkest timeline and <laughs> and then after that um, Ziggy was like oh maybe you guys can't do it without me or at least do it proper yeah, sounds about right. so he kind of came back but he didn't want to be the like the face, like doing everything. He just wanted to be the guy who's like behind the scenes. And that's when um, Spencer and Shane put their hand up. Yeah. And they've been amazing. Um, Shane is well, um, when I say Shane, I mean Kamoga for those who don't know. Um, again, life happened. He's in a band and he's so he's, he's started, working two jobs as well. He's working two jobs, trying to focus on his band as well. So, you know, more, more important priorities. So he fell out and this year, so this year it was um, Ziggy with the supporting role as always. He'll always be there. But it was me, uh, Spencer, Henry, and Dove. Kind so, of. Like well, I'm kind of new to the whole like yeah. organization well, thing. Well, so if you want like proper proper, it's me, Spencer, and Henry. Right. We're, we're, we're the top three. So and yeah. then, But then there's like and of course a lot th of people that help us. Like I mean. With, with Tekken, okay. Bryce helps me every year. He brings the cabinet. If anything needs to be done that none of us can do, like he'll do it. Um, of course, we have, uh, you know, Will helps us a lot as well. John helps us a lot. Yeah. Um, we, ha we get a lot of volunteers that want to help on the day, like uh, Yuto. Um, sh shout out to Vargas. I mean, he's been th the longest running helper since the, you know. Joins since, ST without fail. Since and OHN still has started. So, you know, sh big shout out to. Um, Lazy Dave and Shane, um, they they more than stepped up, helped me around the entire Tekken tournament. So you know, then it's good. It's good to see you know people always still you know willing to offer a lending hand. I mean, uh, it's good. Well, I can't really speak to that really. Yeah, because like. no, none of us been there been there since day one. I mean, it started. I think it started with um, playtime. Uh, from what I've been told, I mean, when first year OHN was what. Oh, Oh, no, 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 before. I think it was before. Yeah, it has to be before that. I think it was around 02. Well, it was 02. the top one, so 02. Yeah, then like at least. I think maybe no, 01, 01. I think maybe 2000, even, because like there's a couple oh, years yeah. that like it, it didn't work or whatever, something like that. So it was around 2000, 2001. So it started, yeah, like that. I think it was back in the days of um, CVS and uh, maybe Third Strike. And yeah, like they wanted to run tournaments, so they started doing it at playtime. And then from then it expanded. We had that one year where just someone came. Yeah, and that uh, was at OHN 6, I think. That was the year uh, uh, before that I came onto this. Oh, okay. Well, I remember I ran Tekken that year, so... So, um... Yeah, just the one came. Won every single game except Tekken Tag. <laughs> yes, you're welcome, Australia. Tekken <laughs> once again had to step up. So, um... Yeah, and uh, it was fun. 
Yeah, that's like, the one thing. Yeah, I don't think I would have been able to fare well like back in those days. I mean, like you know, nowadays there's all these like LCD monitors and stuff like that. But like back in those days, I guess you'd have all those CRTs and uh, like cabinets and yeah, like, well, you'd have to roll yeah. them in and whatever. Yeah, well, that's crazy. Well, for taking perspective, dude, like, like I used to dread OHN because we I used to have to like, like take the cabinet. So, uh, when we used to have at UTS, we literally had to push him from GGs in Central all the way to UTS yeah, so like across the road and I don't know if anyone been to Good Dams in Central there's about 15 or 20 steps that are steep as shit so trying to like take the machine up and down these steps like shout out to J Javed and Norman you know big body dudes like me who can take a lot of banging helping me every year take the machines up and down yeah so I couldn't imagine doing that yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it was like crazy because I remember like, you know, the days before the T and all the new Hori sticks, like there was all these like custom mod jobs and all this other stuff. It was just like a really different time, I guess, yeah. in a way. Like honestly, like we've been doing this shit for a while, man. Like you think when you like, now thinking about it, like, yeah, I'm too new. We, 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 like, yeah, it's like even, even myself, I've been like in the scene since like, I want to say 2000 and what? Well, the first account I made on Tekken Zabatsu was 2005, but um, I think that maybe oh, that was the first OHN I attended 2005 or 2006. So I've been in there for like eight nine years. So that, that, that's a while, man. Like well, yeah, and out of these eight nine years, I've been running shit for like six or seven. So yeah. Oh, wow. The people, we love him too much. That's how stupid we are. Despite all their shortcomings, I actually love this bunch of degenerates a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's like really like a social thing. There's like so many good guys. And yeah, like I said, it's just like the sort of common ground, the common experience, you know, all the hype and all that sort of thing. It's just like really great. This is a hobby. Like, you know, another dude's hobby is out of footy. This is our footy. So, you know, just like a dude goes out and plays footy and has the best time of his life. This is what we do. We play fighters and we have the best time of our life. So that's why you keep doing it. Like, it's hard for you to fall out of something like that. Like. You can't see one guy, he's like, yeah, I love footy to death. And then like, he plays it for a couple of years. He's like, no, I don't want to play footy anymore. Like, this is what we do. It's what we love. What is it with Melbourne always asking this dumb question? I've never heard this question before. Ah, who's the most handsome guy in the FGC? Me. All right. Yeah, there I you go. There's that. your answer. We, we all know who the biggest pervert is. It's a tie between yourself and Yang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that really does sound correct. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. If we knew um, the answer, cocaine and hookers. <laughs> I'd go with that. I mean, if I knew the answer, we would be honestly, much better as a country and a community. Honestly, you asking us how can you get people into like more people into the FGC is like you asking any other person what's the meaning of life. Like it's. Like it's like, bladder, um, like it's been honestly that question's been theorized to death. Like you hear, like uh, American panels and like even in America, like people asking like prominent members of the FGC in America, how can you get more people? And like some people give out some very well thought out, very well sophisticated answers, and then still nothing happens. Like yeah, you can I, theorize I know, as like, much as you like, want, yeah, you but can theorize. I think you you can't force it. Like. You can do your best to put yourself out there, but you can't literally drag someone's out and tell them, hey, come play fighting games. Yeah, like it has to happen naturally. Like I don't think anyone here was forced to play fighters. Like they just made the choice themselves to play the game. And like, this is where we are now. Like I don't think anyone was like, oh, my friend forced me to play fighters and then he forced me to learn combos and whatnot. Well, I forced so, the cough guys to play ST a lot, so. Well, that's different. You know? <laughs> You're just a bully. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's there, he's trembling. Shout out to Sam. Shout out to Sam, Sydney's token white guy. 
I thought that was Alex. No, Alex is cool. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Oh, and for me that's easy. Taking five dark resurrection and the other player will be Sorten. He's my favorite Japanese Yoshimitsu player. That, that's easy for me. Oh, okay. well, and, and, and I've met Sorten and when I went to SBO and we hung out for a bit and he's a really, really cool guy. He doesn't play anymore, but he's a really cool guy. Yeah. No, I took his virginity dog. Get it right, son. Get it right. That sounds crazy. Um, I don't know, I guess, uh, I guess the game that, like, I don't know, it seems like every COF player loves this game, but like COF 11? Like, everyone really loves COF 11. Either that or COF 02 UM. I don't know who I'd take. Um, maybe Will, because well, I don't know. Will. We have a decent dynamic, I think. Out He's of right all the there. people you could pick, you'd pick Will? Yeah, Will's Come cool, on. Man. Even Will friend when you said Will. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know, like, well, you said I could take him. I mean, he doesn't need to agree or anything. Uh, he so you're gonna kidnap him? Yeah, it's you're like gonna force him to play FGC? Yeah, it's non-consensual cough. <laughs> Best kind of cough. It's like a hate crime or something. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't think I can really talk about the history of ST like in Sydney. I mean, the way I got into it was like, uh, you know, I came back from Japan um, and, you know, I just really wanted to play like fighting games a little more competitively. Um, and then, you know, I happened to come across GGPO and then, you know, that had like a really fierce online competition. We had a, a huge amount of good players, like shout outs to 002, KG, Blade. Um, there's just a whole bunch of them. And then from that, you know, that helped me get out to like sort of offline tournaments, things like that. I remember my first OHN, it was only OHN 7. And then we had, uh, well not only, I mean, it was fairly late I'm saying, but they had like cabinets and it was like the most awesome experience. So, um, and then yeah, every year since we've been trying to run ST like yearly, uh, just for anyone who wants to play. Like I that. just want to add, I, I know nothing about SD and I've never touched the game <laughs> in my life. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's a great game. Um, a man's game, from yeah, what like I hear. Yeah, like compared to Street Fighter 4 and like the newer games, like, um, it's really different. I encourage like anyone who's interested to play. It might give you a bit of a different perspective. I'll, I'll teach you how to play a game properly. <laughs> Not really. I mean, Alex, like, he's been playing Street Fighter 4 and Cough and he came like he came actually fifth in ST, so that was like oh, okay. really awesome. Like That's I was good. really impressed. That's good to hear. Alex I came, is good, Papa. I think Alex I came good. fourth. So yeah, I've got some stiff competition. <laughs> Don't get eager to ask questions. That's actually, by the way, I'm um, Dav's character. For anyone that doesn't know, he plays Kami, and she's yeah. by far the worst character in she's ST. She's not the worst, but she is pretty rough to use. Oh wow! I think Kami is a fun character. Like. I mean, the thing that drew me to like using Cami was basically her butt cheeks. What? Her no, butt no, no, cheeks. No. It was basically like it felt like her options were so weak. It felt like you need to learn every other character and what they can do in order to succeed with her. Like it felt like you you had to have an answer for every single move. And I remember like when I played, I had to make like a sheet of like uh, like I was like really into it, and I just made like every normal in every situation this is what you do this is the range you stay and stuff like that she's like a character like that's very that relies on knowledge i think a lot and i think it well, I, I didn't know that a kami one i i can't really speak because i'm not a, so it's, not a good kami uh, but uh, correct me if i'm wrong but she's kind of the character that forces you to learn the game as opposed to just learning yeah, the character and, I think that's, and getting away with shit. yeah and i think that's the kind of character that i like um but then that said she does have really horrible matchups and, uh, and there's like a popular tradition in like uh, maybe not maybe not X Mania, but like in other tournaments where you know you just counter pick. So like you can basically counter pick Cami, and she's gonna have a really bad time. I don't know. Um, just say yes. Okay. Yes. I don't think I can. I don't really think I can body anyone to be honest. Dave's too humble. Like uh, he's just I really too not. humble. He, 
I don't know, like you're like a weird, like, you're like an arrogant humble dude. Like I don't know how to phrase it well. Yeah, like, sometimes, about right. sometimes you're like, no, nah, no, nah, like don't put money on me, Yusuf. And then you're like, yeah, I'll body this guy. He's like, I don't know. It's like, it's, hey, it's those weird. conversations were in private. <laughs> Baxter, who's gonna win Marvel? Huh? Who's gonna win Marvel? Hey. Who's gonna win a Sydney versus Queen's Queensland five on five? Uh, Sydney's pretty strong. The web goes Colin, so us. <laughs> Going to either coming from all right, from a player's perspective, competition is fierce as like seriously. If you just go there and like with the mindset that you want to win, you have to practice and you have to like have the intent to kill. Otherwise, like you're gonna get bopped. As an organizer, man, because us both of us we're organizers, so we understand what goes through. Well, behind the scenes into making a successful tournament. However, our tournament is like, what, a couple hundred people? Eva is in the thousand. Yeah, it's and at for, a whole different level. Yeah, and for them to run a, such a clean cut tournament and with, on that scale, with not a single hiccup, like, some people may love him, but some people may hate him, but I got nothing but respect for Eva. And my favorite bit actually, it was from a, um, com a, not competitor, not an organizer, but from a spectator point of view, because Going either and coming back, the hype levels that you experience, honestly, I've never felt them in any major before. Like, it's just beyond anything. And I reckon, I, I actually, I would like to recommend everybody goes to either at least once. I'm not saying make it a really thing, because I understand, like, it costs a lot of money and time and whatnot. But make it that you go to Eva at least once in your lifetime, and I promise you, you will not regret it. Yeah, I definitely want to go again, actually, because yeah. like my Eva experience was a bit mixed. I mean, I basically got sick immediately on the plane, and I was like coughing, and my voice was gone like all that week. The week after, when I actually went somewhere else, and then even a week when I got back, it was like it was intense. Um, but it was just really great. Like you could just like sort of feel the history in the room. Like there's all these like like old school players and especially with the ST presence like at um at Evo yeah um one of the main draws for me like uh going to Evo was um you know it's like ST's 20th anniversary and Koff's 20th 20th yeah 20th anniversary as well um so it was just amazing just being part of that sort of experience and being around those people and I don't know like Koff finals was hype I mean like, um, I heard the stream was kind of all over the place and like I heard something about it, but there was nothing but hype in the crowd. It was, it was, it was like, pretty hype. Yeah, like it when Madkoff uh, chose like the Green Goro, they were all doing the zombie and then yeah. they were all doing the wave on the Tokyo stage and stuff. I mean, not at Tokyo, um, the, the Osaka stage. So yeah, that was like, that was awesome. Um, yeah, it was just a great experience. I'd also recommend it. Like just being part of the crowd was amazing. Okay. That, that, that's actually my favorite bit, not competing and not um, obviously from an organizational point of view, just being in the front with the crowd and just like, because when you get hype, like everybody gets hype. And then when like, or when something bad happens, you're not the only one who's going, oh, yeah. like every, you feel everybody's emotions. Yeah, with you. it's just like the energy in yeah. the room. Like for that split moment, everybody becomes one. And it's like, oh man. Yeah, it doesn't even matter what game it is. Yeah, like, it's just we, like, we were getting hype over Smash and, and we know nothing Bla over Smash. I didn't see Smash, but I saw like Blaze Blue. I saw like all the other ones. It was so good, yeah. I highly it's recommend it. It's a good it. experience. You, you, you can't go to Evo and be like, nah, I didn't enjoy myself. Like, unless like you had a, a terrible, like, little, bad events that you like, to work. like got mugged or something. Yeah, or got like, mugged and like got mad sick. And, or like, like someone something. kicked you in the balls or something, you know, <laughs> something like that. Lord forbid, but yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I hope that doesn't happen to anyone. definitely good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Cocaine and hookers. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> what we like to see in the calendar, just people attending majors. The only time I don't attend majors is if one of my cousins is getting married or something, or I have something important like that. But I genuinely try to go out of my way to attend every single major and support. Because, I mean, if people attend, like, that's where it all starts. People attending. People attend, 
more uh, sorry, more people attend, more people have fun, more people attend, more people like compete against each other, more people attend better atmosphere, more people attend more rivalries, of course friendly rivalries are, are born. Uh, more people attend, like more games are being played, the more you're learning. Like it just stems from numbers. Like like if you love fighting games in Australia and like you wanna Well they love fighting games in Australia. Oh, and you want to support? And you want to support? Just attend. It's simple as attending. Um, Shout out to Crazy beating Somniac. Woo! Oh wow! <laughs> Muttons, uh, you mad? Sorry, what? No. <laughs> yeah, dude, I give shit. I give shit to Sydney all the time. They don't travel. Uh, they will, Sydney is a bunch of conceited fucks, dude. They expect everyone to come to their home turf. Yeah. So now, why should I travel? You come to me. Sydney I mean, people don't even travel to their own monthly meetups. Yeah, like, I think. dude, seriously, like, even if I start with Tekken, dude, I, we have to stop. I had to stop running Tekken at YSP because Tekken dudes won't even come at to, to Tekken at YSP. It's really weird. Like sometimes, like I see people more like at say BAM or something that I do at yeah. a local meet. But that said, I didn't actually attend any majors this year. I, I mean, I want to go to Sexy. Um, Adelaide, awesome. People, Apparently it's people called, should go SXC. Apparently yes, it's called, everyone go SXC and support Adelaide. Apparently it's called Troy Majors down there. Troy Majors. Something oh. like that. No, um, but just, anyway. Just go SXC. Like you'll have fun. I got, I, permission, I got permission from Falco to call it that. So. What, Troy Majors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'm planning to go this year. But yeah, I, um, this year, like usually I try and go to one. Usually it's BAM in Melbourne. Um, but this year I, like, I spent all my money at Evo. Here, here. Here, yeah. here. Next year, I'm hoping to go to probably Button Smash as well. I, I can't go to Button Like oh, I already yeah. said, yeah. I, I really I want to eat Moss Burger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah oh, you're going to uh, Button like, Smash, like, yeah? Yeah, you won't regret it, but you won't be like, oh my god, I must come back. But it's, it's good. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you had it in you're Japan. You're like, sure, why not? This is Because I've had it in Japan it's before. I had it in Brisbane. and it's not I, haven't, I, haven't had it in, I haven't been to Japan since 2009, so I'll, yeah. I'll probably enjoy it. You would like it. I think we, I pretty much said what I have to say. I mean, like, hopefully we can like keep the scene going, get some new things happening. Stream YSB. I'm looking forward to like getting ST set up as like a monthly thing at least. Um, these new decoder boards are really encouraging. We, the cough scene is really looking forward to our 2K2UM on Steam. That's going to be awesome. And we're even going to bust out some 11 um, with these. Decoders. I mean, I talked to Dark Chaotix from um, Gold Coast, and no, he's no, really he's, keen. He's, he's from Can uh, Cairns. Oh he's from shoot! Cairns. I get everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even for, Ari's like from Gold movie. Coast, though. Yeah. Ari's from Gold yeah, Coast. Yes. Shoot. Um, but, but, he, but he recognize. But he identifies as Brisbane. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds about right. Yeah. But um, shout out to Ari. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as in um, yeah, we might even run a DIY Cop Eleven tournament, and that would be pretty awesome. Um, Apart from Oswald, Oswald kind of is broken, but... Shout out to people that travel and support the scene, man. Like, I know we say it like to death, but like, if you don't... You if, go, not every, you if people don't put in that effort, like, the scene is gonna die. And like, you're the one who's gonna be responsible for it. Don't be like, oh, there's no people or coming, or oh, I don't want to go because no one's coming. No one is coming because you're not coming. So yeah. when you come, others will come. So it starts with you. So shout out to people that are, you know, supporting the scene. Shout out to all the organizers Australia wide. And um, you know, yeah. pick up yourself, Martins man, you're a cool cat and you know, thank you for interviewing us. Yeah, yeah, and, thanks um, for the interview, man. Hopefully one of the Sydney dudes win ultra so we can have at least claim one game <laughs> at OHN. Hey, we're doing pretty good, right? Oh, well, I think a crazy just knocked the, it just beat our song. I don't know if it's winners or losers. It's like a breaking update. Yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. Crazy just beat song. <laughs> <laughs> Edit those titles in. Mad love, one love to everyone. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Cocaine and hookers. Yeah? Cocaine and hookers. <laughs>